My Eban Helsinki uh, 2019 uh, experience has been great. It's been wonderful to meet with other angel uh, investors uh, from across the globe, uh, because not only European, but you have those coming from Latin America and from the Middle East uh, and uh, from the United States. So it's great to share best practices and, uh, and to uh, meet new angel investors and also to renew the relationships with uh, the ones that I know. I think that uh, it's becoming very important to create a stronger ecosystem. So for angel investing, it's becoming important now that for the follow-up rounds of financing, we need to create more um, uh, connection and coordination with other angel networks. So we talk about cross-border investing, but uh, it's not necessarily actually getting more angel investors to become cross-border investors, but by also creating trust and relationships with the other, and coordination with the other networks, is that if you do have um, a startup company, for example, in France, who wants to move into the Nordic market, um, then uh, by knowing the uh, FIBAN and, uh, and Estonia Business Angel Network and the other networks, is to be able to kind of already give an introduction and, uh, and a follow-through to ensure that they will get that follow-up round of financing as they're moving into new markets. A memorable one would be that a project that I was necessarily not uh, thinking I would be rather interested in it, uh, it was in cybersecurity, and, uh, and I'm usually more in, in sectors of uh, digital health, ICT, uh, food tech, and, uh, and this entrepreneur came in uh, with a great team, uh, showed where the market opportunity was, uh, the partnerships, and, uh, and without realizing it, I, at the end of the presentation, you know, this was a company that I wanted to invest in and, uh, and it was not the usual type of uh, sector I would invest in. I would say that uh, startups looking for seed funding, number one, um, you need to be genuine and be yourself. Uh, you need to be very clear in um, uh, what you're targeting and what you're asking for. Uh, I think there's a trend now because um, as I work with uh, different incubators and accelerators, different organizations and angel networks and in the whole entrepreneurship scene globally, uh, you notice that as, mu as much as they've had a lot of mentorship talking about how important uh, competition is, uh, you see that a lot of uh, entrepreneurs are still presenting and actually minimizing the, comp the competition. And actually some of them not really even um, uh, presenting a proper competitive landscape and it becomes so important uh, for the credibility of the project uh, and, uh, and and we tend and uh, and a lot of startups have tend to minimize the importance